Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Babylon 5, this is season 4, this is episode 22 and this is the final episode of this season. This episode is called The Deconstruction of Falling Stars. Last episode, it's been a while, about a week I think since I watched it. We lost Marcus, we learned that John and Delenn got married on a white star and we also learned that Michael seems to have married Lise when he was on Mars, when he was down there trying to find her and we saw John become the president of this new alliance which was working with all the non-aligned worlds and the rangers to, to keep peace basically because everybody's just so tired of war and this is like the first time anything like this has ever really happened I guess because we saw how fractured nations were when it came to the shadow war like who was on whose side so to have this alliance in place it's going to be interesting to see how much of that we see we also learned that Susan has transferred to a warlock class ship so how much Susan we get to see in this episode will be interesting as well are we kind of going to be jumping from Michael on Mars to Delenn and John on a White Star to Susan on this Warlock ship because that's going to be a lot of jumping about and then we've got Babylon 5 where Jakar is but then Londo's been informed he's now going to be Emperor so he has to go back to Centauri Prime so I'm like we're going to be jumping around a lot this episode possibly even next season to an extent so I'm going to be interested to see what this one's about let's go Mr. President where's Susan? We have a lot to celebrate, including and especially your marriage. Did Susan not hang around for this party? And you two just can't avoid it. Clark's gone. Earth and Mars are free. They want to celebrate. I guess they see us as a symbol of that. There's something immodest about all this. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. What matters is what we did here together. In a hundred years, it won't matter who we were. They probably won't even remember. Oh, <laughs> That's true. Continuity error caused by high energy. Oh! Correcting for error. Resetting. What? Do you wish to continue? Reloading sequence. Sheridan and Delenn. What is Please this? Please select a time period or select autoplay for chronological display of records. What? Loading records for period covering one year through 1,000 years from events show. Please stand by to receive. ISN Nightside. A no holds barred look at the events of today that will shape the world of tomorrow. And now your host, Derek Mitchell. Good evening. What the hell is By happening? By any definition, the events of the last few weeks have been among the most remarkable in recent memory. Where's the lady? The end of a civil war that split Earth Force squarely down the middle. We'll be back in just a moment to consider like the news political night. implications of this new interstellar alliance and the recent calls for the formation of independent political parties on Mars. Record ends. Autoplay feature engaged. What the hell? Loading next sequence. Date. 100 years from first time period. Stand by. Who is this person? Who's watching this? With another in our series of educational stellar casts on the 100th anniversary of the Interstellar Alliance. Looks like a bloody SIM card. Taking part in today's discussion from Earth Dome, historian Dr. Jim Latimer from the University of York. Oh! Political scientist Dr. Barbara Toshaki, University of Japan at Tokyo, and psychologist Dr. William Exeter from NYU. Our first question <laughs> from Ray Winston, University of Kiev. <laughs> Ray what Winston. role do you feel the Babylon Station played in the creation of the Hundred Year Peace? Well, the station, none at all. It's a place, it was a place that served peace. as a nexus for others. I agree. They did not do, they allowed others to do. By they, you mean Sheridan and Delan. So you think the record of their accomplishments is overrated? Absolutely. Good PR, as Tashaki said. In a lot of ways, they blew it. If your assumption is correct, where did Sheridan and Delan and those involved go wrong? Well, as one example, they have no business creating a colony of telepaths on Babylon 5. He as much as said later it was the worst mistake of his career. That one event may have done much to precipitate the telepath war and... You can't pick one incident and say that was the cause of all... Not the sole cause, no. But it was a contributing factor. I have consulted with Captain Lockley and we've reached a decision regarding the current situation. It is not the policy of the Interstellar Alliance or this station to bargain with terrorists for the lives of hostages. If we open that door even once, we will never be able to close it again. Now you have two choices. Surrender, 
or we will use lethal force to bring you down. Well, I don't know what more needs to be said. This picture speak for themselves. Sheridan was clearly pathological. He was power hungry. It's as simple as that. And he never let anything get in his way. A truly pathological individual could never have constructed a mythos around himself the way Sheridan did. And then there's that bit about the way his death was handled. Exactly. Everyone knows Sheridan died on Mimbar. The cover story they put out was clearly designed to perpetuate the myth of his character. And I guess it worked, because a lot of people still believe it 80 years later. Yes. She now, said 80 years, and this is 100, I think. Perpetuation of fantasy. Sheridan was a megalomaniac. No, he to wasn't. To history to feed that megalomania, even posthumously, simply compounds the error. We have an obligation as academics to uphold certain standards. Oh. Oh, hello. That doesn't sound good. I just heard we've had a, a security breach in the building. We're going to... Oh, my God. Hello? John Sheridan was a good, kind, decent man. What, is she out? Delay. I Wait. think she's out. You came all this way just to say that? You came just this far to say less. Accessing records for date 500 years from initial scanning date. I don't know what the Stand purpose by. of this is. Virtual environment functioning identical to Babylon 5 system records from 2262. Oh, shit. Data transfer of records is complete, successful, in spite of extreme age of original files and destruction of original Babylon 5 station 480 years ago. To recap for Pollock Division Central. Wait, what, what? Initiating phase two of recreation. To determine if the psychohistorical research has been sufficiently thorough, phase two will begin with the control holograms working with the actual psychological makeups of the subjects in question. The holograms will thus perform in a fashion consistent with real fact. Update system files for holographic figures filling in period from 2262 through 2762. Download complete. Yeah, but what would S po political oh. policy have to do with Delen? 500 years. Are we? Yes. You, the real you, are deceased. We have reconstructed your thought patterns and your forms for purposes of a series of vids designed to designed help... Designed as propaganda to justify your break from the Interstellar Alliance. Oh! See, John's a smart cookie. Not propaganda. Yes! Good facts. Facts the government has endorsed. They've recreated us so that they can provide false records and uh, portray us to be, what, uh, the bad guys? Only out for interest but our own? They want to undermine the Alliance by attacking the people who created it. Looks like. Welcome to Babylon 5. I understand that you surrendered to our forces in the hopes of finding mercy. The Interstellar Alliance is not here to be merciful to the weak. Oh, good Lord. In all the universe, there are only two kinds. The conquerors and the conquered. Shit. What we cannot take by force, we will win. By subversion. And in the end, we will bury you. I think I said last episode that I would never fully trust Earth. Your lives are not the first and they will not be the last. <sighs> if a billion must die to ensure the continuance of our empire, then so be it. Stand ready. Aim. There's still none. Fire. Something we can do. The funny thing about being a holographic record is, is that you don't really exist, except in patterns of light, shadow, information. And I happen to have a knack for breaking system codes. <laughs> so while you were downloading the new does, world yeah. order me, I was watching the system work, and I just sent out our entire conversation. Broadcast the whole damn thing. Now, from your records, they're actually a lot more humanitarian than you are, so they'll probably just <laughs> Mira has not blinked and research once. Facilities. Hell, your missiles are probably halfway here by now. You're lying. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Holograms don't lie, Danny boy. Computer and simulation. And simulation! Oh. Oops, the system's busy. This little lab of yours, system's this isn't busy. by any chance located on a military base, is it? No! Shit. Rest easy, friends. Rest easy. Record ends. Autoplay feature engaged. Loading next sequence. The prophecies of Delon III said that the 
and Lashak, the rangers, would come again to the earth in her greatest hour of need and rebuild what was once the cradle of Sheridan and the Alliance. Is that picture meant to be Marcus? We have waited so, so long, Brother Arwen, and they have never come. If today the rangers came back to earth from their place in the heavens, you would not know about it. Then you think the rangers are here today? No. I believe they could be. Oh, man. <sighs> we will rebuild the Earth. How long has he been here? System has finished processing and archiving records for a period of one million years from initial scanning date. Holy shit! Instructions. What's this a ship? Our job is finished. Convey records to new Earth. Good luck. Confirmed. Use enhanced tachyon sequence to ensure arrival in time for the celebrations. Confirmed. Estimate Sol will hit Nova in less than five standard hours. Recommend immediate evacuation. We created the world we think you would have wished for us. And now we leave the cradle for the last time. The world, John and Delen? What the f Probably not. Oh! <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We did what we did because it was right not to be remembered. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna point that out. I prefer the full beard. different from anything that I would have ever expected. I genuinely thought we would just spend time going between Babylon 5, maybe Centauri Prime, seeing Season. I never thought we'd have this trip through time, whether it was a hundred years, thousand years, five hundred years, and see all of these clips of, you know, what happened after this alliance had been formed and how Earth seems to have completely fallen apart. And we heard how, you know, they didn't like that there was more alien involvement and they felt like they weren't number one in the galaxy anymore, basically, and they didn't have power or control. So they ended up kind of uprising and then we heard there was like a civil war and they were fighting amongst themselves and this fight and basically destroyed everything and then there was this great burn which makes me think because you know they were talking about Rome a lot when we saw the priests at the end the brotherhood and I was just like oh god like they're talking about Rome and I was like oh well, at least Rome still exists but when I was thinking that I was thinking oh at least there wasn't like a, a crazy person like Nero around to burn it down again but then it seems like this great burn is possibly actually what actually did happen so it's kind of like history was repeating itself and seeing how, like, we saw that panel talking about John and was he a megalomaniac? And then there was that guy who was really pro Clark and he, he wrote things for the Clark government. And from the outset, I was like, that guy's an ass. And then we saw that university panel where they were talking about it was 100 years in the future, but they were talking about how John had died 80 years ago. And I was like, oh, well, shit, yeah, that was unavoidable then, wasn't it? So, yeah, he did get that 20 years. I guess. And then seeing that in the future, there's these rangers that are in hiding on Earth trying to help rebuild Earth as well. That whole hologram sequence was interesting as well, where we learnt how the Earth people were like trying to break down the characters of those involved in the Alliance, those prominently involved in the Alliance. So John, Stephen, Delenn, Michael, so that they could use it as a propaganda tool to get people to basically stop believing in what it was that they did even Delenn said at the end they'd done the right thing this was such an interesting thing that dude at the end going into like what looked like a Volon suit I was like guys who the hell is that that just blew my mind a little bit blew my mind I'm going to sign off and say thank you and I will see you guys later so thank you